What's up, family? It's a girl, your mama, your sister, and your friend, Busi Jane, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if it is your first time tuning in, then welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm trying to get myself comfortable. So I decided I implanted my hair, and I decided that I'm gonna keep my locks. Like I'll just enjoy having locks. So I went to the salon somewhere here in Pretoria. I just found a random place and they they washed it and then they twisted it now it's my first time twisting locks and i'm not sure if how it looks now is how it is supposed to look but it's chilled though like i'm just gonna keep it like this i'm gonna put on my duke when i get home right now i want to get myself some some ice cream I'm gonna get myself some ice cream and then we're gonna do a young story time of what happened today about a few years ago on my graduation day seeing that graduation is coming up in just a few weeks in just a few days for some and most people now before i continue do not forget to subscribe don't forget to like my video thank you thank you thank you let us get armed let us get armed because I need to see. Yo, I need new glasses, guys. That time I don't even have medical. I don't have medical aid. I need to get medical aid, guys. And I know the best one that is, like, recommended. Hey, la, la, la. Sorry if I made you yawn. Okay. I am armed. Uh, I shouldn't leave my bag here. I'm gonna take it with me and let's go get some frozen yogurt or ice cream This is like the best joint in Pretoria. Whenever I'm in Pretoria, I make sure listen, I make sure You hear me? I make sure whenever I'm in Pretoria I make sure that I come to the spot because it's got the best Frozen yogurt and ice cream in the entire world. Please go argue with your mom Or maybe not your mom. That's a bit rude Oh my gosh. Oh, my bad, Vala. Jeff. What flavors of frozen yogurt do you have? English toxic with plants and passion fruit. Give me some passion fruit, please. Can you mix it with some English puppy? Please. Give me a large. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, give me a large. Give me a large. I don't want to go home, so. Yeah, this is a and then back here is the Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. Give me the large. Passion fruit and some English toffee. Yeah. What's up everybody so i'm back again i'm back inside the car and i'm enjoying my frozen yogurt it's so big it is so big so here's my story on the 16th of april i was going to have my graduation i'm a tet alumni 
or alumni doesn't sound right i'm a tt i didn't lie so what happened is on the 21st of march i went to a designer's home i texted on instagram first i think and um her work is so amazing honestly her work speaks for itself so I'm, I, before I went to her place, I had like a vision of how I wanted my graduation outfit to look like. I wanted to wear a suit. I just, I really wanted to look like fire, boss. I wanted to look like fire. So I go to her house. I, I do my measurements. She does the fit, the measurements and puts a table around me and stuff. And she writes it down in a book. I chill. She's like, no, I'll be able to do it. Just come back after a week. I think she said after a week or so. I'm not sure exactly. When we went back to her house, it was the 13th of April. Two days before, huh? Three days before my graduation. It's a Friday. My graduation is on Monday. We go to her house because we have to leave with my suit, isn't it? I paid my deposit. All right, chill pay my deposit went there to fetch my suit when we get there yo store she says oh you know what i forgot my measuring book um in another province she mentioned the province i'm not gonna say i forgot my my measuring book but then i still continued because i somewhat remember so i'm like oh let me fit then because i'm like Psh fine you left it but then if it fits then i'm good i'm gonna go you know graduate pose in my suit ah huh? she brings out the pants they too big my mom is like so where's the blazer eh. she says the blazer is not done yet my blazer had no sleeves guys it had no sleeves and it looked huge it looked so huge but i was just like hey I was bummed, my mom was super mad, but I was calm. I think that was the first time in my life that I actually let things be as they were. I just told myself, there's nothing I can do, there's no one I can scream at, I don't have an outfit for my graduation, let me go find it somewhere else. And that's when I was just like, I said, I'm out of start. Let's go to my other side. I'll find a dress for you. On the Saturday of that weekend, I had to go lay a friend to rest. I didn't go to to the gravesite though. But I went to the funeral. The funeral was at the church that we both attended. I went to the funeral in the morning. It was the most yo, it was the most emotional thing I've ever seen for such a young person with a family to pass like that it's really sad anyways went to the funeral after the funeral got on a taxi went to Maravastak. waited for my mom and kumgani i waited for my mom my sister and kumgani to get there and they got there when they get there now we start going to shops and i'm like ah i can't find anything here ah, i don't like this i don't like this i don't like that so anyways then my mom oh then we eventually found emma stepsy emma stepsy is known as yellow sub trading but then i knew it as emma stepsy and i just i didn't know the name it was it was my it was my first time getting in there but yeah we went in there and i was walking with my sister and we were just looking around and the first dress i saw i went for a green one there was red black and green I went for the green one because green is my favorite color. I'm going to graduate in my favorite color. However, it was different from my suit because I wanted an, a red-orange suit. That was the color of my suit. So anyway, out of the dresses that I saw, I was like, I'm taking this one. She's like, oh, does it fit? Does it fit? I'm like, yeah, it'll fit. Let's go. I'm not a person. First of all, mind you, I was emotional. I was emotional. Because I just come from a funeral, I'm sad, I'm all up in my field. And I just don't want to take time at my rubber start busy looking for a dress. On top of that, I don't really like shopping. I don't like taking my time at the malls. I hate it. So I'm like, yeah, the dress will be fine. She's like, but you didn't look around. I'm like, the dress is fine. I take the dress. We go upstairs in the shop now. Upstairs in the shop, there's handbags and shoes. I see shoes. 
these beautiful high heels. I'm like, let me look at these ones. I look for size five. I fit size five. I'm like, it fits. Let's go. How much you didn't look at it? Let's go. I revive. We go. Now on that day, I think I remember I did my nails. I did my nails at a shop in Hatfield because that, that's where. Yeah, is that where my sister lived? No, she she used to live in Hatfield, but the guy that did my nails is a guy that used to do her nails. Hmm. Fade. It's cool. So now I get my nails done and I got them done in a pastel purple. It was a beautiful pastel purple color. The length was a length that I was not used to. But I did it anyways because I'm graduating. I'm not going to graduate 5 million times. Did that. Cool. Now my hair. My hair, my dad was like, ah, I'll give you money. And he gave me some money. And then I think I used that money to do my nails. Because my nails were like 270 maybe. I'm not sure. But anyways, it was that money. Or did I keep that money and then I used it to buy something on campus for that day? I think I used it to... I used part of that money to order my gown. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. But anyways, I hired my gown. I didn't buy a gown. Cool. Now, we get to... It's the Saturday and I don't have a plan for him. I have no plan for him. <laughs> Luckily, my sister was sharing the flat with a friend of hers who was kind enough to actually borrow me her wig. Oh, I forgot the necklace thing. The necklace thing, when after we got my things in my step scene, I we went past the shop and there's usually, not even a shop because the lady was outside. There's usually mamas who sell um, traditional wear, traditional attire. So I saw the Nebele necklace and I was like, I want that. So I went for it. Um, and they were like, no, it's not going to look nice. I was like, I'm going to wear it. <coughs> Took it and we left. Then that's when we got home. I was like, yo, plan for my hair, plan for my hair. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And then uh, my friends, my sister's friend was like, oh, you can borrow my wig. And I was like, so grateful. Um, I tried on her wig and oh, I loved it. I loved it. I was so in love. I'm going to try and look for some pictures on Snapchat. Because I think I have pictures on Snapchat where I was trying on the wig. So I got the wig. I had something new and something borrowed for my graduation. Cool. Then it was day of the graduation, man. Oh, my earrings. I got my earrings at Mr. Price. Like, my things costed less than 500 rand. My graduation things less than 500 my graduation outfit and then the best part i forgot day of the graduation guess who's doing my makeup beats by kez um kez oh, she's so amazing guys uh she was a medical student then and she was just you know she was still doing her makeup job self-taught makeup artist kez yeah she's a self-taught makeup artist um, she's from Pretoria and the way she speaks and she had a sweet in her mouth so that she could have like fresh breath She is so professional. It's not even funny because she made it to my house or she made it to the flat so early She was so early and yo like when she was done with that makeup. I was like This can't be my face This cannot be my face and mind you it's only two years since I've given birth to Kumkani and I was still Ugh you know, I was, mm, I was, mm, 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 mm. I was, yeah, I was that. Yo, oh. Kaz made me look like I was getting married. That woman made me look like I was getting married. Like I was, what an honor. I'm so grateful that my sister got her to do my makeup because I don't know how else I would have looked. Um, I had no plan for makeup, but yeah, Kaz came through and she did the most. She really did the most. I'll show you some pictures as well of my of my makeup. Graduation was amazing. I got there and look, I was strutting those heels. I was doing wow. Well, now I was walking, mother. I yo, I felt I felt so good because I looked good. 
I think if anything on your graduation, just get your makeup done, you know? Outfit, doesn't matter. Your outfit can be from Mr. Price. Just as long as this is za 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 za. Yo, I know, I really look good on my graduation. So, I mean, you know, a lot of things can go wrong with your outfit for your graduation. But like, don't, don't take it so hard, you know? It's just one day. And I know for most of us, it's, it's more than just one day. But focus on what's happening rather than what didn't happen. So many things can go wrong. So many things can go wrong in the life of the person that's making your outfit. That person can go through life. Life can life them. And then they're unable to do your, your, your outfit. Are you going to be mad at them? I couldn't be mad at the designer who couldn't, who couldn't finish my outfit. I was just, it was at that point for the first time in my life, I learned that things are not going to uh, go your way and you need to let it go. Just, just let it go. Just let it go. And I did that. Got to my graduation. I look beautiful. People were complimenting me. Yo, there was this guy. As I was walking, he's like, honey, wait. Wait. I was like, <laughs> I was like, honey, wait. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's like, girl, <laughs> look, I felt good, y'all. I felt good. I felt so good. And I was just happy um, to have my family there. Um, also, my grandmother came. My grandmama, whose name I have, I share with. Huh? I share my grandma. I carry my grandmother's name. I'll say that. My dad was there with his master's belt, with his degree, honors, and whatever's and whatever's and master's belt. Um, my cousin, my aunt. So all my family was there. Mom, sister, son. Um, my family was there, and I really appreciated it. That was that part was also great. The only thing I think I really enjoyed about graduation was my outfit, my makeup, and taking pictures with family, of which. Ooh, thank you father god i didn't have makeup on i mean what am i saying i didn't have makeup on i didn't have i didn't like hire a person to take pictures of me and stuff like that but my sister had an iphone and the iphone did the most thank you iphone thank you sister and then um hector had um he had a cameraman and that cameraman took pictures of us and we looked amazing Shout out to you, bro. He is also the guy who requested I do a song reaction to Loiso Dream About You. Of which, that song is still getting views today. It's over 4,000 likes. 4,000 likes and views. 4,000 views. Yeah. Mm, over 4,000 views. Like, it's incredible. So grateful to him. He's my homie for life, man. But yeah, we graduated. After graduation, I went to, we went to, by we, it's my mother, my sister, my son, and myself. We went to the Baobab tree or Baobab restaurant in Main Lane. And we had food. I ordered my favorite meal. I've ordered my favorite dessert. It was nice. And the day was over. Following day, went home. And I remember when going home. I started singing this song that was sung at uh, my friend's funeral. And I was so stressed about I've graduated, but I don't have a job. It's just so stressful because I went for my first professional interview and they were just like, give your career a chance. But then if you don't find anything, you can come back. I was like, okay. So while I was waiting for a job, I just started praising God. I was just like, I don't know what's the song. And this song, my fr the the um, my friend who is now late, um, who we were laying to rest on that day, the song was written by him and composed by him, I think. Um, and you'll forgive my voice, but it went. It was. Just so and Kanye was singing this song. Kanye has such a beautiful voice. Um yo, you know what? This song made me so emotional as I was singing it. I started crying and I was just like, you know what, God, 
thank you for everything. Thank you for what I don't have and what I don't see with my eyes. But thank you for what I have in your house. Thank you for what you have in store for me. Because I know you have great things in store for me. I was just so emotional and I was crying. And yo, I think two weeks later, I got a call. Or was it the week later? But somewhere there, I got a call for an interview. Went to the interview. I got a job. And that's where I'm still working currently. And yeah. That's how everything went. That's how it went. And I'm just... I'm just here to tell you to let it go. If things don't work out the way you had expected or wanted them to, let it go. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Focus, ra rather focus on what you want, what you can do. Because when you focus on what you can do, you have more ch chances of being able to do it. But when things are beyond your reach and beyond your control, let it go. Let it go. I wanted a designer, out a designed outfit. Didn't happen. I let it go. Went to Maravastad, got myself an outfit, put my earrings at Mr. Price, and I looked gorgeous. Sometimes the way things that we want um, don't happen as we want them. And that's when life's will, God's will actually prevails, you know? Uh, and it doesn't mean that God's will is what we would like. It's not always the time. No, oh, it's not always the case that we enjoy God's will or we like God's will. But actually, God's will for us, man, is super dope. So I think it's usually just life teaching us lessons. Not God allows certain things to happen to us to teach us a lesson. And this is my point of view, according regarding my life, how things happen, things that were, that things that were taken away from me. I don't want to blame them on God anymore, because when my brother died, I remember I was praying that, oh God, please bring him closer to you. And what he left. And I was mad. I was mad at God. I was like, yo, dude, <laughs> I didn't mean take him away from me. I just meant like bring him closer to you. Like let him go to church as often as he takes us to church. Because he'd attend church with us. But like, you know, I'm like, you're so selfish, God. <laughs> There's just certain things that are meant to be in our lives for a certain time, a certain period. That is people, it's family members, it's jobs. And we really need to let it go. We need to let go of these ideas that we have in our heads. That this is the way things should go. And if it doesn't go this way, uh, then it's over. No. No. So yeah, um, that's my story. Happy Heritage Day. Um, it is what it is with this life, eh? It is what it is. I think it's time I go home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to subscribe. And like my video.